problem is for African Americans, we know the history, and too many white Americans don't know or won't accept it. And the reality is, it is American history, yours and mine. You look at blackface, white white entertainers wore blackface uh, to mimic uh, African Americans, uh, to caricature African Americans. Uh, when you look at the minstrel shows, black entertainers were forced to wear blackface uh, because whites did not even want to see the humanity of black people, so therefore they had blackface. Uh, last night, I looked at Spike Lee's 2000 movie, Bamboozle, which dealt with this. And they actually, the Jada Pinkett Smith character actually talked about exactly how they created it. And what they did was they poured alcohol on two corks, burned it to a crisp, mashed it to a powder, added water, and mixed it to a thick paste, and then applied it to the faces of black people. Then they had put, would take red lipstick and put it on the lips, put it on the outside of the lips to create this, this, this image. But this thing went beyond just that. Uh, you look at the Jim Crow Museum that's at Ferris State University, where this is American history, where black people have been assaulted in magazines, television, radio, all of these images that have continued for, for centuries and, and then, of course, decades, going up to the 1960s and to some degree in the 70s, and we still see it present day. And so this is American history. The problem is too many of us grew up learning his story and not actual history. And that's the problem that we have to accept. And when we are grown, when we are educated, we have to go beyond what we were taught, what we learn in our household, and say, I better be fully aware of real American history as opposed to being in denial of what, that, what actually took place in this country. Peace and blessings. Now I want to come to y'all on the solo tip because, um, you know, some certain things that I want to discuss about um, just basically black sensitivity. You know what I mean? And the the way that we respond to a lot of things that that we deem to be um, disrespectful or insensitive namely racially insensitive um things that 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 you know that evokes a certain emotion um you know because of the relation of of the the, the comments or gestures or images as it relates to slavery and jim crow and um the the, the pain that 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 emanates from those um experiences um recently you know the, the the thing that um megan kelly had said um concerning uh, blackface you know and you know listening to her and and her explanation of it and everything i understand totally why a lot of people you know got out of sorts about it you know because it's, it's a wound, but you know, in my mind, it's like certain things that we need to allow to heal, you know what I mean, just for us. Not necessarily, um, you know, this, this is a focus on white community, you know what I mean? I'm focusing on my community, my people, um, things that, 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 you know, are, are we allowing to become psychological impediments that we become sensitive to, to overly sensitive to a lot of things that is that is um you know at the end of the day really to me you know makes no difference because I look at the hypocrisy in life and you know the fact that we have a lot of black comedians or comedians of, of various hues um and nationalities and cultures that imitate white people, you know what I mean? And I know the, the, the cultural and the historical relevance when, it, when it's done by white people, when they imitate us and, and the effect that it, it, it had um, as it relates to that, you know, to, to the, the general psyche of the, of the, 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 the people that um, is being imitated, I understand it. But my thing is, you know, if, if we're going to imitate them 
in, in caricatures, in movies, and little skits, and just an everyday conversation. And, you know, hey guy, you know how 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 we do those things like that. You know, I can't get mad if 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 they do the same. You know what I mean? And it's just like when when they they spitting a, a, a song and it says nigga in it. You know, all of a sudden I'm gonna look at them and like, you better not say that word. No, 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 no. We don't understand that the the the, the white um, consumer base in hip hop is the strongest uh, um, proponent of of the, the, the financial resources <laughs> for our music. So to say you can't say that word when we spitting it all the way through it, you know what I mean? Is 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 hypocritical. You know what I'm saying? The name your group niggas with attitude, where they're gonna say N words with attitude? Come on now. You know, I mean we 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 we, we taking it too far. And I understand, I know people will be like, uh, but they don't supposed to be saying niggas because of the the the, 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 the trauma and the historical ramifications of that okay, fine, dang. You know what I'm saying? I already know the argument. Whatever. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm not gonna to continue to give power to words. Because if I give power to those words, then I'm giving power to the people that throws those words around. To me, at this particular juncture in time in my life, it's just a word. To me, at this particular juncture in life, if somebody come in blackface and they use it in a comedic sense as not no step and fetch and, and, and chucking and jiving and all that. No, I'm not talking about those things. I'm not talking about those things at all. But you know, you're using it in a, uh, Halloween and this, that, and I, I, I can care less. I can care less because they going into the tanning booth. Look at fucking Trump. You know what I mean? That motherfucker is like a person of color. You know what I mean? At, at least around this, but around his eyes, he wiped in the motherfucker. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? But, but the thing about it is, I'm not going to give power. I'm not going to continue to give power to those things that controls my emotions because anyone you allow to control your emotions, you allow to control your life. And they know and understand that we're passionate people. They know and understand that we're emotional people. So the easiest way to get us in an uproar is to do something that is emotionally provocative. The easiest way to manipulate the people is to get in their emotions. And they know and understand this. The people in power, the unseen hand, they understand psychology. That's how they're easily able to manipulate people by using words. Trump is a master of psychology. That's why he's a branded magnet. That's how he was able to move himself amongst a Republican base, conservatives, evangelicals, and all this. He chopped down all those candidates that reflected those morals and moved himself in the position of becoming emperor of the United States because he understand the psychological dichotomy of America. Because everything that America says that it is, it's not. He knows and understand that. He knows America is angry. He knows uh, uh, that understand that America is fearful. He knows this. So he uses it. He uses it. You know what I'm saying? So, so we have to really pay attention to what's going on around us and stop worrying about these little things right here. It's a time now that we have to confront an evil. A serious evil and what Roland Martin did was 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 beautiful in the fact that he educated what it was was a teaching moment not just the Megyn Kelly but if she learned or not to the other white people that viewed the show that heard what happened it was a teaching moment that is our jobs as mature individuals it's not just to consume information, it's also to regurgitate information to those who need to be made aware. You can't call yourself awoke and you're not trying to awoke, awoken everybody or awaken everybody. This is just not a black thing, this is a humanity thing. So we need to pay attention. 
I love my people and I'm going to continue to fight for my people, which is humanity as a whole. We have different families. You know what I mean? And I'm going to go to each and every family member and open their eyes, open their ears. You know what I'm saying? That's my job. That's my job as God, man. G-O-D. Guma Az Dubar. So sit back and, 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 and consume what, what the truth gives you, what the truth feeds you. Don't run into fear. Don't run into emotion. Run into logic. Don't even, you hear me? Don't, 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 don't get sidetracked because you're allowing the great manipulator to manipulate you. You can't say that you're woke and you're getting angry about certain things that, 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 that affects community and you're not doing anything to, 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 to build the community. That's why I created with my man Brian the show The Bridge, the podcast The Bridge. And I'm just coming to y'all today, solo dolo, you know what I mean? And, and, and just giving my viewpoints on it. Hopefully, y'all sit back, y'all think about it. I welcome any comment. Drop, we can build. Whether you agree or disagree, let's build. <laughs> I'm all about that, all right? So it's One Love, Bridge Podcast. Check out Jim Powers on all the music streaming services. G-E-M-P-O-W-A-Z. Silver Gorilla Apparel Media Music. Yeah. Mm. This past year has been so painful for many people of color. The country feels so divided, and I have no wish to add to that pain and offense. I believe this is a time for more understanding, more love, more sensitivity, and honor. And I want to be part of that. Thank you for listening and for helping me listen too.